Thank you for tuning in to the Shikama Live Show. Uh, quite often, uh, my viewers, friends, Facebook friends, Twitter friends will ask me to do a video specifically for an issue that they feel strongly about. And of course, <laughs> I tell them, yes, I'll do it. You're, I'm putting you in line. So this is a direct story that came from uh, a friend, actually a, cl a close friend of mine who I've known for years. So uh, let's see here. A Wrightsville area man whose dog was killed by police Thursday morning said he doesn't believe a state police trooper needed to shoot the eight-year-old Rottweiler Labrador Retriever mix named Ace. The trooper fired three times at Ace about 8.30 a.m. in the yard of Jeff Bletz Gilbert Lane home in Lower Windsor Township, hitting the dog with the final shot, according to Bletz. Ace came and lay down at my feet and died. Oh my god, I died. I don't, I don't know if I could do this story. I'm getting misty-eyed here. Uh, he said, This is animal cruelty. That dog never hurt anybody. But Lower Windsor Township Police Chief Tim Caldwell, who witnessed the shooting, said he doesn't think the trooper did anything wrong. I feel the trooper acted appropriately based on what he was dealing with at the time, the chief said. You're looking at a situation where you're dealing with a large breed of dog. The reality is, if it had been a pocket poodle, it probably wouldn't have been shot. But the trooper acted in accordance with his training and his understanding of the situation. Internal probe. Trooper Rob Hicks, a state police spokesman, said an internal investigation into the matter is ongoing. He declined to release the trooper's name. At the, at the end of the day, even though it's not a human being who was shot, it was still a use of force and the trooper did discharge his weapon, Hicks said. So an internal investigation will take place to determine if his use of force was justified. State police and Lower Windsor Township Police were assisting members of the U.S. Marshal Service Fugitive Task Force and Lancaster City Police who were there to serve a warrant on Blett's 25-year-old daughter, Kayla Blett's Caldwell confirmed. She's wanting, uh, wanted on robbery and simple assault charges filed April 25th by Lancaster City Police and also wanted on a bench warrant for violating her probation on a bad check case in Lancaster County according to court records. Jeff Blett said his daughter no longer lives with him and is in a treatment facility. Swift and aggressive. According to Hicks, the trooper who shot Ace was assigned to the perimeter of the home. He was confronted by a large Rottweiler which closed the distance in a swift and aggressive fashion and the trooper was forced to neutralize the animal. First of all, they don't have a warrant even when they are trying to bring in a fugitive for probation and it's a probation violation they're not a fugitive in the sense of the word that they're running away from the law Hicks said no trooper ever wants to have to discharge their weapon so my comment was that he's on the property where he shouldn't be on the property you only enter property when you have a warrant if you're looking for somebody that is not a warrant you are not in pursuit the law is very clear people need to stand up for their rights the police violate your rights constantly he should not have none of them should have been on the property they can call to the house and say is such and so here we are looking for her no trooper ever wants to have to discharge their weapon whether at a human or an animal but sometimes we're put in a situation where you have to protect other people or protect yourself and this happens to be one of those situations 
The trooper had no way of knowing the dog's intention according to Hicks. It happened so quickly, you have to make a split-second decision, he said. Dog friendly. But Jeff Bletz said Ace was a friendly, loving family dog that never bit anyone and wasn't going to bite the trooper. Ace would, however, growl at trespassers. It's his yard. It's his property, Bletz said. They've got tasers. They've got pepper spray. They didn't even give him a chance to call him over. He didn't have to lose his life. I don't understand it at all. And the reason that they're doing this, this didn't happen in the 50s. The reason is police are in violation consistently. They are stepping on people's rights. And when these animals are present, the animal is going to protect the, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the property and the, and the owners. You're violating the owner's rights. And the dog is there to make sure you don't violate whatever. So you, police now consistently are sh running around shooting animals. They need to be sued out of existence. And maybe then they'll get the, get the uh, message. Unless you have a warrant and you read that warrant specifically. And you go to the correct house. And of course I'm thinking about these police, I've read in the past week, five violations. They have a warrant and they go and bust down the door of some 80 year old woman, handcuff her and, and say, are you 24 year old Sandra Day? Of course not. Idiots. It takes nothing to be a police. You need a GED. This is the problem. How are we uh, requiring, we, we're, we're saying that black people aren't qualified for jobs and affirmative action, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I have, I have 50 different stories running around in my head at any one time. They all apply in, <laughs> in this case. Uh, these police are in violation. They need to be sued out of existence. That's why this happens. They don't have a warrant. They're not there to serve warrant on somebody. They're not chasing somebody and have a reasonable expectation to go onto the property. So they're going around shooting people's dogs and, and cats and <laughs> dogs inside of cages. Tell me what justification there is for that inside of a locked cage. Yes. You know, I have all of these stories floating around in my head. Police sh busting down the wrong person's door, uh, uh, putting handcuffs on the three-year-old. The three-year-old? <laughs> and then going to the kitchen, dogs locked inside the cage, and they shoot the dog. This dog is protecting his, his lawn. The person doesn't even live there. The person doesn't even stay there. And they're shooting the dog. Let me continue. Don't shoot him. Bletz said he saw police walk into his yard, then heard a woman walking by scream, don't shoot him. That's when the trooper fired three times, according to Bletz, who said two bullets went into the ground in front of his home, which means that the trooper could have shot him while the third bullet struck Ace in his side, behind his front leg. He questioned how Ace could have been shot in the side if he was charging straight at the trooper. The Bletz family had Ace since he was a puppy. He's like a member of the family. He's like my kid, Bletz said. I buried him in my yard. You can reach Liz Evans uh, Skullfero at Le Levens at yorkdispatch.com this is just so this is an example of how the police have just gone and become so outrageous they're not here to protect us so if the dog is charging at you he should be shot somewhere in the face right not shot in the side right or the back 
something's wrong with that story. And why are you on the property? And I mean, I don't mean uh, knocking on the door. I mean, you're you're behind. And and how is their intelligence so bad that they go to this property and the person doesn't even live there? And apparently she has been in this treatment center for some time. So obviously the treatment center isn't communicating with the social worker or the, maybe the treatment center did communicate to the social worker or the uh, whatever worker and uh, she forgot. And so now you have the situation where they're declaring this woman a fugitive from the law or or that she has violated her probation by not appearing before the uh, uh, social worker, whatever you call it. I, I don't know what you call those people. And so we create a fiasco. You know, it's like chaos theory. You know, a butterfly flaps its wing and an uh, earthquake happens in China. So we have this social worker who forgets and uh, it snowballs down here and this guy could have been killed. He's shooting at the dog. He could have killed the guy. There you have it. I mean, it's ridiculous. Uh, thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show.